This is a very interesting problem on equilibrium. When we're looking at case of P, the, the pressure equilibrium constant for this given reaction of two moles of sulfur trioxide is being converted or producing two moles of sulfur trioxide, excuse me, plus one mole of oxygen gas. It's a reversible reaction. So we can write, we can write the expression for case of P as underlined. Given that you have just 4.75 atmospheres of the sulfur trioxide, initially you set up your ice table. So initially it's 4.75 and the products are both zero. Now, when the sulfur trioxide changes by 2x, the sulfur dioxide increases by 2x and the oxygen gas x. So that's your change. And so at the final equilibrium, you're going to have 4.75 minus 2x of sulfur trioxide, 2x of sulfur dioxide, and just x of the oxygen gas. You plug that into the expression and set it equal to the case of P given 2.62 times 10 to the minus 6. And when we have that expression, it looks like the algebraic equation from hell, <laughs> except we can cancel out the minus 2x in the denominator because 2x is going to be less than 5% of 4.75, so we can exclude it. That simplifies it greatly. So then we know that 4.75 squared times case of P, 2.62 times 10 to the minus 6 will equal 4x cubed. We simply just evaluate and take the cube root of both sides to get x is equal to 0 0.245 atmospheres, which would be the pressure of the oxygen gas at equilibrium. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I had fun doing it. Have a great day.